Last time on Star Trek Online. We are fighting a war on multiple fronts. We have to consider the Borg, the Undine, and the Romulans, as well as the Klingons. I see now my deception has been exposed. Starfleet has lost too many ships and too many good men and women to a fight we now know was caused by Iconian and Undine influence. Is that... An Iconian gateway? Yes, I believe it is. Into the gateway, now! Are all those markers Iconian gateways? Sir, we've been scanning the gateway. The monitors on the bridge are all showing an Omega. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. We are within the Solanae Dyson Sphere, a spherical structure built around a star. We now know why the sphere generates vast amounts of Omega particles. It is designed to use those particles as fuel to jump to any area of space. It now appears that the Janolan sphere had the same jump capabilities as the Solanae and moved to this location. You're not Cooper. We will repel the Undine, and survive to warn the Alpha Quadrant of the renewed threat. The Undine are a threat to us all. I propose a summit. We must decide together what we must do to protect the Alpha Quadrant. Our disputes may need to be put aside in the face of a greater enemy. And now, the continuation. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. I will admit that I did not expect to be here with Voyager again. It is agreeable. Thank you for agreeing to attend this conference and supporting my position on the Undine. However, reaching a consensus today will be difficult. Many different agendas will be represented here today. I will speak to you in person shortly. Tuvok out. Good to see you. I'd say you're right on time, but it looks like everyone else wants to be fashionably late. We're still finishing preparations for the conference, and Admiral Tuvok is already there. The Klingon and Romulan delegates will arrive soon, so we should head inside as soon as you're ready. Thank you for joining us here. We need assistance with preparations for the conference. The Romulan and Klingon delegations are still in private deliberations, but other delegates are arriving. Several preliminary tasks remain before we can begin the presentation. Your support in this matter would be appreciated. This Cardassian thug is trying to push Bajor out of this conference. We have as much of a right to be represented here as any other world, more than the Cardassians. They're not even part of the Federation or the Klingon Empire. I simply inquired about the Ambassador's presence at the conference. After all, Bajor is a member of the Federation. Ambassador Sugihara is capable of representing them, along with the Deltans, Andorians, Vulcans, and everyone else, even the Tellarites. Though, I suspect they'd argue that point rather robustly.
Indeed. One wonders how well that gateway would have fared if Deep Space Nine was of Bajoran manufacture rather than Cardassian. The Federation's track record on wormhole security is far from ideal. One only needs to consider the multiple Dominion occupations of the station for proof of that point. A ah, predictable response. Then again, it's certainly no secret where Federation loyalties lie in the Alpha Quadrant. I suppose expecting a more balanced approach was wishful thinking on my part. Accusations of Cardassian malfeasance aside, I would remind you both that we are here to seek a peaceful solution to the issues facing us all. Indeed. One wonders how well that... The Federation has never made a policy of preventing member worlds from overseeing their own interests in conjunction with Federation efforts. Or is Bajor going to be treated differently than other member worlds? Well said. Perhaps there's hope for this conference yet. I'm quite willing to put this disagreement behind us in the interest of the bigger picture. Where do you want me posted, sir? Where do you want me posted, sir? Where do you want me posted, sir? The preliminary tasks are complete. You should speak with Admiral Tubak again. Thank you for your assistance. Please take the opportunity to speak with the various delegates. Having an understanding of the positions of each representative will facilitate more effective negotiations. The Federation's position is quite clear. We believe the only way to safeguard the future of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants is for all the galactic powers to behave as reasonable entities and work together to oppose those who would threaten our worlds. It doesn't matter if that threat comes from the Undine, the Borg, or the Iconians. The response is the same. The Zindi are here to support Admiral Tuvok's call for cooperation. We know what tragedies befall a people who are being manipulated by outsiders, as we once were. The Undine's lies and manipulation remind us of the Sphere Builders, whose deceptions led us to make one of the greatest mistakes in our history. There are five races on my world. We all know reaching a consensus can be difficult, but the Zindi are living proof that if we put aside animosity, our differences can make us stronger. I sincerely hope that the Federation is not wasting our time here. If your presentation is to explain the threat posed by the Undine, let me spare you the effort. The Klingon Empire has been aware of this threat for quite some time now. Thank you for the invitation. Starfleet certainly knows how to organize their meetings on a grand scale. I trust that the Republic will be able to take a leadership role in studying this sphere. 
The extensive knowledge we've gained from the Solanay Sphere should give us an advantage here. And, after all, the gateway that leads to both of these spheres is in Republic space. Yes, the Undine. Very interesting. My security advisors have been looking over the data, and we are all very curious to hear what you and Admiral Tuvok have to say on the matter. You've spoken with representatives of all of the delegations. You should return to Admiral Tuvok. We are almost ready to begin. Will you complete the final preparations for the conference while I speak to Captain Sean? After that, your assistance in encouraging everyone to take their seats would be appreciated. I suppose we can begin. Oh! Yes, I will take my seat. I was just going. Don't rush me. Ah, it seems the time has come at last. Thank you for the reminder. You can start the presentation from the control console. The Undine represent a clear and present danger to not only the Federation, but also the Klingon Empire and Romulan Republic. The damage done here by a mere handful of ships is clear evidence for the need for cooperation. With respect, Admiral, the Romulan Republic is quite capable of leading exploration and security measures here, just as we have led efforts to secure the Solanay Sphere. My militia. I find it interesting that the Federation suddenly has concerns about the Undine now. Where was the Federation when the Empire discovered Undine infiltrators in the Alpha Quadrant? Nor is the Federation only interested now. The Undine threatens something you want. Given the exceptionally complicated nature of such... Ambassador, given what we now know, that was a mistake. The Empire recognized the Undine threat years ago. We didn't. You admit you are wrong? The evidence provided by Admiral Tuvok and his team is sound. Thank you, Captain Sean. However, dwelling on past mistakes will not solve the problems of the present. Our fleet stands ready to protect both spheres from the Undine. The Undine can wait. We have more important business to discuss. Who owns this sphere? I represent a consortium of businessmen on Ferenginar. We are prepared to invest significant venture capital into transforming this sphere into a vacation destination to rival Risa. I have a proposal of half a million bars of... What's that? To walk to Voyager, report. A, a massive fleet of Undine vessels just appeared from a rift. They're setting a course for the gateway. The Undine? What do they want? Unknown. Drop to Lisette. Track their course. Enterprise to Captain Sean. We're receiving a distress signal from Earth's space dock. Sean to Federation fleet. Red alert. Prepare for immediate departure. The Federation is our enemy. But the Undine attack like assassins in the night. We will crush the Kamekou! A significant Undine force is headed for the Sol system. 
We must stop the Undine from breaching Earth's defenses. There are still Undine ships in the system. We must eliminate them.
parties on Earth's space dock. We're, we're fighting them, but comms are spotty. I was lucky to get an external signal working. We need any assistance you can spare. There are Undine ships attacking key sites across the quadrant. Our ships are responding to everything they can, but we're stretched thin. When the Undine arrived here, they damaged every ship in the system, hit the orbital platforms, and then most of them just left. Automated defense systems are offline. We're struggling just to keep control of the station. I've received orders from New Romulus. In light of this situation, the Lisette is being recalled to defend the homeworld. I will contact you if there is any change. The boarding parties on Earth's space dock should be our main concern. The Undine will be attempting to cripple Starfleet operations, gain valuable data, and capture ranking officers. We cannot afford to allow them to succeed. I am prepared to beam down immediately. Your assistance will greatly improve our chances of success. Earth's space dock has sustained severe damage from multiple Undine boarding parties. We must locate Admiral Quinn. The most expedient path to the Admiral's office is through those doors. Our mission objectives are clear. We must ascertain the whereabouts of Admiral Quinn and expel all Undine boarders. Teams from other ships, including some Klingon and Romulan vessels, have beamed to lower decks here on the station. While their willingness to assist us is unexpected, their desire to see this enemy stopped is gratifying. This is not normally something I would suggest, but I believe that in this instance it is necessary. My mind to your mind. My thoughts to your thoughts. There is more going on with these boarding parties than mere description. Phaser fire. There are more Starfleet officers fighting. We need to manually activate the fire suppression systems. I thought Earth Space Dock would be a quiet assignment. Be cautious. There are more Undine nearby.
Admiral Tuvok, I'm going to help hold this position. I'm not much of a soldier, but I can make repairs and help keep this area clear of Undine. I hope Admiral Quinn is okay. He was on comms a few minutes ago. The transmission was cut off. Be cautious. There are more Undine nearby. Admiral Quinn. I'll stay here. Good luck. The shape-shifting nature of species 8472 makes them a dangerous foe. We will have to proceed with caution to avoid being caught unaware again. Clearly, Admiral Quinn is not here. He may be still alive elsewhere on the station. The logical course of action amid so much chaos will be to re-establish the chain of command. Perhaps we can establish more reliable communications by directly linking to the Starbase's internal systems. The consoles here can be used for that purpose. Make the attempt. I will keep watch for more Undine. I will cover you. Who is this? Communications are damaged. One moment. This is Admiral Quinn. I suppose that's a valid question. You reported to me after the attack on Vega Colony. I took a chance on promoting you. I see now it was the right one. Admiral Tuvok, we spoke briefly about your mission right before you reported back to Voyager. You mentioned your wife and said it was fortunate you had time to visit Vulcan, to see Tapel before the conference. Admiral, what is your status? I'm pinned down in my office with Egan. We've been trying to get internal comms and sensors working. What's your status? The Undine boarding parties appear to have some goal in mind, but we are unsure as to what it might be. Admiral, I suggest you hold your position. We will make our way to you. Stay alert for more imposters. There are still more Undine on the station. I can feel their anger. The way is blocked. There may be an alternate route on the upper deck. Admiral Quinn and Commander Egan are below. 
The Admiral appears to require medical treatment. It is agreeable to see you, Admiral. Thank you. Now, maybe we should... Commander Egan! Egg? Where are you going? One moment, Admiral. Intriguing. The amount of resistance Starfleet has offered is... unexpected. That being said... The weak... Will perish, and you are weak. He is tapping into the bio ship's power. Egan was an Undine? That would explain what happened to our defense grid. He would have known they were coming, and had ample opportunity to sabotage us. Damn, I didn't see that coming. Egan... It's hard to believe. He attacked me mentally, let everyone into a trap. I couldn't stop him. We have much to consider. There may be... Tuvok! What's going on? Tuvok! Can you hear me? Tuvok! Tuvok! Hello. Egan was too weak. He spent too much time among humans. He served his purpose, and you will be far too late. Too late for what? Your quadrant will fall. The weak will perish. This dimension will be cleansed, purified of infestation. Your efforts are meaningless. I know your thoughts, Tuvok. Indeed, Doctor. But I have taken advantage of this connection to look into your mind as well. What? I understand now what your plans are. You will not succeed. You can't stop us! Tuvok! Tuvok! 
Admiral Chuva! Admiral! Diversion. This was all a diversion. What do you mean? Kronos. Their real target is Kronos. Come. Kronos may not have much time. The Federation and the Empire have been at war for far too long. Now we must join together for the common good. We have arrived in the Kronos system. At this time, the ruins of Praxis are concealing our arrival from the Undine. The Klingon homeworld defense fleet has engaged the bulk of the Undine forces, but they appear to be taking heavy casualties. Just two Federation ships? Two? Where is the Enterprise? Where's the rest of your fleet? I knew better than to trust Starfleet. You run when you should fight. The Romulans have promised additional aid, as has Starfleet Command. The Enterprise is contacting all available ships and... It Words are meaningless. Deeds show the true art of a warrior. Join me if you are not as cowardly as the rest of the Federation. Today is a good day to die. allies. We are here to honor them. Not exactly. 
What is that thing? The Undine have brought a large craft through a quantum singularity. They're powering up weapons! The Undine have a new planet killer! Target that ship, and fire all weapons! No effect! They're too strong! Voyager has one nanite torpedo remaining from her time in the Delta Quadrant. Such devices proved effective against the Undine in the past. Tactical. Fire when ready. They took some damage, but the planet killer can still fire. I can get the Aquarius into firing position above her and exploit the opening in her shields, but someone will need to keep the Undine distracted. Weapons are offline. This is our only chance. Setting the Aquarius on the collision course. Acknowledged. Do we have Sean's coordinates? Getting locked now, sir. It, sir, the planet killer has been destroyed. Tuvok to Allied fleet, stand down. The Undine are retreating. Captain Sean, transporter room. Did you get him? We have Captain Sean to Admiral Tuvok. Permission to come aboard. High Council wishes to discuss the most recent developments. We have been invited to transport directly to the High Council chambers. There are many here who have seen the danger Species 8472 presents with their own eyes for the first time. Thank you for your assistance in protecting both Earth and Kronos from the Undine. However terrible, this battle did have one benefit. Today's fight opened the door to what may be a lasting peace between the Federation and the Empire. Now we must have the courage to compromise for the greater good. In its way, that can be more difficult than waging war. The formalities will begin soon. Until then, I must take the time to speak to others who were instrumental in the success of this mission. That was a close one, but I'm fortunate Voyager transported me off the ship at the last second. It would have been a worthy sacrifice. 
Kronos is too important to lose. A true peace may not be on the table yet, but I hope we can at least broker a lasting armistice. But first, we celebrate today. Earth and Kronos are safe. You have shown your true nature today. Worf was correct. There is honor in the Federation. The conflict between us has gone on long enough. Now we should turn our blades toward the real enemy. I remember. I sir My people have respected the Federation ever since our first encounter with your famed Captain Kirk. I have advised Chancellor Jimpok that the Gorn support the idea of a ceasefire. Perhaps this will lead to greater freedom for all of us. Our people come from a culture of deception and division. We've rejected our past in favor of open alliances. Perhaps it's time for the Federation and the Empire to set aside their past as well. We would welcome a ceasefire between our allies. The five races of the Zindi once tried to exterminate humanity. But through the efforts of a few people who were willing to change, we put aside our weapons and worked through our differences. Now, we are members of the Federation. Peace came with great difficulty, but that is the way of most things worth having. The Undine are here. They're spreading lies and dividing us from within. Now, more than ever, we need to set aside our animosities and work together for the greater good. I admit, I did not expect the Federation to act with such honor. I do not know what the final decision of the High Council will be, but... Rest assured that the Undine will pay. We will hunt down every last Kameku and destroy them for what they have done here today. You fought well for someone from Starfleet. Many fine warriors have earned their places in Stovacor today. They died with honor, fighting one of our most formidable enemies. The Undine brought the battle to our very threshold. The fine warriors standing before me pushed them back. Let us honor our sacrifices and our accomplishments by ending... Here to impress you, demon! We stand united, and there is no one who can... We give you a single warning. Do not attract our attention again. That was... that was the reason we need to work together. It's time for our feud to end. Agreed. 
From this day forward, all hostilities between the Empire and the Federation will cease. The Iconians use servitor races and other species to do their fighting for them. Species 8472 has been an unknowing cat's paw of the Iconians for some time. This time, however, the Undine were defeated, and it was our combined strength that allowed us to prevail. Thousands of years ago, the Iconians were defeated by an alliance of races. I predict their ultimate aim has been to prevent such an alliance from happening again. There have been periods in our combined history when the Federation and the Empire have not been at war, but they have not been allies either. This may be the beginning of such a time. It will be up to us to determine what happens next. With time, we may even restore the alliance that came out of the Kittimer Accords. Voyager will return to the Delta Quadrant. There is much to do there, and the Janolan Sphere will need to be protected from further Undine assault.